This video is a quick beginner's guide to photographing full body portraits using one light and I will show you how I use this space to create these images. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram it's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So welcome again to my small home studio. Well, today it's not that small because I actually used more of my studio instead of my usual shooting area. And if you guys are familiar to the channel, you know that my usual shooting area is just about two meters wide and 3.5 meters deep. However, today I brought my backdrop further back by about one more meter. So I'm technically shooting in a space about 2.5 meters by about 5 meters. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to shoot full body portraits and I want to minimize the distortion and at the same time I want my backdrop further behind from my subject so that I can more or less control the spill of the light. Now the backdrop that I'm using, you can see here, this is from Savage Backdrop. It's a green backdrop. It's 9 feet wide and more or less I just have it here flowing down and I just have a posing stool right here. Now the light that I will be using is this one. This is my Sony F60RM speed light that's mounted on a MagMod MagShoe. And the modifier that I'm using is, there you can see, the Photix Premio 120 umbrella with a front diffuser. Now this light or this light and modifier combo will be mounted on this one. This is the Avengers T-Stand. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about my camera and the camera settings. So the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7R Mark IV with the 35mm 1.4 GM lens. Now the reason why I'm using my 35mm is because I'm going to be shooting a full body portrait in a very limited space. Of course, I'd want it as wide as possible, but at the same time, I want to minimize the distortion. I prefer well preferably if i'm going to be shooting a full body portrait in a bigger studio i'll actually be using my 70 to 200 or at the very least a 50 millimeter so that i can control the distortion even more so with this 35 millimeter we have to be very careful when it comes to the height of the camera now i have my camera set more or less about the same height of the chair a little bit higher which represents give or take the waistline of my subject um, but again, we will be looking at it in, via the screen to see if there is any distortion because that's something that we will be very, very careful about. Now, what are my settings? My settings are 1 over 250 f5.6 ISO 100. We can see that we do have a bit of ambient light here in the studio. And this is basically what my camera is picking up now. It is pitch black. So everything that you will be seeing will be coming straight from my flash. And of course, everything is straight out of the camera, unless stated otherwise, but normally the edited photos will be at the very end of the video. Now, I am also recording everything using this one. This is my Atomos Ninja V. It's connected to my camera via HDMI, and it is getting a live feed of everything that my camera is seeing. That's why I was saying earlier, everything that you will be seeing is straight out of the camera. Absolutely no editing will be done. Okay, so what else? I guess that's it. So it's time for me to call in my beautiful wife who will be my subject for today. Come on in, babe. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Of course, usually this is the part that we say thank you to Mela Jimenez for virtually assisting you put on your makeup for today. But today you did your own makeup through the assistance still of Mela. She gave us a recorded video. So still, Mela, thank you very much. So now, you take a seat, babe. Okay. All right. So my camera, or sorry, my flash here, I can see that I set up my flash already here. So this is my Sony F60RM and I'm controlling it remotely using this one. This is the WRC1M remote commander from Sony, which goes to the hot shoe of my flash. Now, how far is this light from my subject? This is about 
one, two, three, give or take about five feet away from my subject. Therefore, I will be spilling a lot of light in the background. That's why I wanted the background a little bit further back so that I don't cast any shadows on the background. So the background is about another, give or take one, two, three, four, another five feet from my subject, okay? So this is about six and a half feet high and Coco right now is just about four feet tall. Okay, all right, so let's take some test shots first. But what's the power of my flash? The power of my flash is at one half power. So let's set it first, let's say for example, at one eighth power. And my white balance, of course, my white balance is set at 5600 Kelvin, or no, it's at white, auto white balance now, so we need to set it at 5600 Kelvin because this light is rated at 5600 Kelvin. All right, babe. So you could see right now, it's overly underexposed at one eighth power. So let's bring it up again to one half power and see how this one turns out. Okay, it's actually not bad. I get, I'm getting proper exposure on, on her eyes. Uh, babe, can you move slightly this way? No, no, sorry, face this way, face oh, this way. Okay. Yeah, twist. twist, sorry, my bad. All right, okay, good. Okay, now, the exposure on her face is correct. I like it already, but my problem is I'm getting too much shadows here on underneath her chin. So in order for us to remove that, we have another accessory here. This is just your standard five in one reflector. So let me put it here. What's happening here, the way this thing works is that you want to catch the light that's coming from here and bring it back to your subject to illuminate the area here and maybe illuminate more parts here. So I have here a clip and let's see. Oops, it's in the shot a little. There we go. Look at the difference. All of a sudden it's alive. Let's do a few more, babe. Very nice. I still think we're slightly underexposed maybe, or can we remove the hair from your, from your chin? There. Very nice. There we go. Let's try overexposing it a bit more. Or sorry, increasing my, my flash power to one half. Ooh. That's actually very nice. We are slightly underexposed at one half power. One half, one full power is a bit too bright. So let's go about one third stop lower and there, I think that one's okay. That's perfect. All right, babe. So let's get into some more of your poses. Okay. One more time. All right. Very nice. Love it. How about you shift your feet? Yeah, there we go. Maybe extend, yeah, maybe face me now. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm oh, sorry. That's all right. Okay, I think we're good with a chair shot. How about we remove the chair and just do some standing up photos. Now, since I removed this chair, look at where my, the angle of the, of the camera is in relation to the subject, we're a bit too low. So all we need to do is bring it up a bit there. So we can see a bit of the, a bit of the backdrop on top, that's fine because we will be cropping that anyway in post when we shoot for Instagram. Since I'm shooting for Instagram, Instagram is four by five. So four by five means that I will actually have to crop a bit of the image anyway. All right, babe. Let's see how this one looks. Oh, very nice. Can you move slightly forward? There, very nice. Good. Side view. There, I love that. All 
All right, so basically, it's a quick guide. It's a quick beginner's guide to shooting full body portraits in a small home studio using one speed light. I just had a Fotix 120 premium umbrella. Thank you very much, babe, again. You can, you look fantastic in all the pictures, babe. So again, we had this Fotix premium 120 umbrella here, and all it did was just cast one beautiful light. And since we had a bit of shadows that I didn't like, I wanted to open up the shadows, I put in a five in one reflector on the silver side. We could have used a white side, but I wanted more specularity, that's why I used the silver side. And of course, every studio, well, I don't know, I don't understand why it took me this long to actually get this one. This is Avenger C stand, and I'm absolutely loving it. And that's it. That's basically one light, one basic light, a quick guide to shooting, one light portrait, I guess one light, I keep on saying one light. It's a quick guide to shooting full body portraits using just one light. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.